Welcome back. Uh, in this section, we will go through the 5G core uh, elements. Uh, so all the different uh, network functions that we had looked at in the architecture uh, diagrams, uh, be it the service-based architecture or the point-to-point -point, uh, interface-based uh, architecture. We will go through those network functions in detail here in this section. So let us start off by talking about the AMF uh, or the access and mobility function. This is uh, one of the main uh, network functions in the 5G core. So AMF interacts with the NG RAN uh, or your 5G RAN over the N2 interface. Uh, this uh, N2 interface is using the uh, next generation access uh, uh, point protocol, NGAP. Uh, the AMF interacts with UEs over the N1 interface for authentication, uh, registration, handovers, and also responsible for paging uh, of idle mode UEs. Um, so to give you a more uh, sense of uh, how this looks like visually, so you have a UE here as an example, um, and you have uh, say your um, new radio or ng ran same thing and then you have the uh, amf so you have an interface uh, between the amf and the N uh, nr and this is the n2 interface and then in addition you have uh, a link between your ue let me use a different color for that. So you have an uh, interface between your UE uh, and your AMF as well. And this is called as the N1 interface. So the UE and AMF can exchange messages over N1. Uh, the NG RAN and the AMF exchange messages over the N2 interface. So the N1 interface is used for all the authentication registration and handover so this may be like a, like a s1 handover as an example uh, where uh, or uh, what is called in um, uh, in the 5g uh, xn uh, handover which is which are similar to the x2 based handovers uh, that we had in lte so the n1 interface usually carries all information regarding these aspects uh, then also uh, it is used for paging of idle mode UEs. So uh, the AMF can page idle mode UEs uh, to, for incoming data. Um, so that is what the N1 interface is used. Uh, one UE is connected to one AMF at a time. So uh, there is a one-to-one -one mapping. Um, AMF relays all session management uh, related signaling between the SMF and the UE. So, um, trying to use a different color here uh, so the amf in turn is connected to something that is called a smf uh, session management function and we will uh, review smf in more detail uh, in the next um, uh, couple of slides but for now just keep in mind that there is an interface uh, between the smf and the amf and uh, this interface is called n11 uh, let me use an eraser and we'll call this N11. Okay, so this interface is the uh, N11 interface. Now, all the once the UE connects to the network, it is going to send what is called a registration request. And as part of the registration request, it will um, ask for details like IP address, uh, DNS address. Uh, and all that stuff. And what AMF is actually doing is it is uh, transferring that information directly to the SMF. So that's what we uh, we mean here that AMF relays all session management related signaling between the SMF and the UE. So this is sort of like a, a, a middle uh, element uh, network function, uh, not element. Uh, AMF, in addition, relays all SMSs, uh, messages between the UE and the SMSF. So SMSF is, again, a SMS network function. So AMF is, in turn, connected to 
uh, a network function which is smsf and this is responsible for all the sms messages so between the ue uh, and the network so all the sms's uh, hit the amf and then amf sends it to uh, the smsf a uh, relay of location service messages between the ue and the lmf so this is another uh, network uh, function which is called lmf uh, we just we kind of briefly mentioned it uh, in the architecture so this is responsible for uh, querying all the location information for this ue and the amf works uh, together with the lmf uh, to uh, to relay all the location service messages. Uh, unlike 4G, UEs in 5G uh, have a specific interface between the UE and AMF. So, like if, if you remember in the 4G, there is no real uh, interface uh, between the UE and the MME in 4G, right? Uh, we had the protocol, NAS protocol, but there was no uh, specific interface. In 5G, uh, we have a specific interface called N1, which is this guy here, uh, between the AMF and the UE. So, just something to note. Uh, relay for messages between UE and the proxy uh, and the policy control function. So, AMF is also connected to uh, a network element, which is called uh, policy control function, uh, PCF. Uh, PCF is kind of similar to your PCRF in 4G. Um, so this uh, PCF can actually push policies um, to your UE. So let me try to use a different color here. So you can have um, the PCF uh, push policies to a user uh, directly. This was not possible uh, in the 4G, but it is possible in 5G. And the way those policies uh, get transferred from the PCF to the UE are why the AMF. So that's why the AMF is uh, is the key here. So that's why we have it. Uh, it is acts as a relay. Uh, it includes security functionality for authentication, authorization of UEs in cooperation with AUSF and UDM. So uh, authorization user subscriber function, AUSF, we will look at it uh, uh, in more detail and then the unified data uh, management uh, is another network function uh, so these are also connected to your amf so if i um, just to make it uh, more clear so you have a uh, usf and you also have what is called a udm so unified data management and these two uh, are used for authentication uh, mostly. Um, and that's uh, and the AMF works in cooperation uh, with these two to authenticate a subscriber. Okay. It is responsible for deriving keys for integrity and ciphering, uh, RRC and user plane. So AMF uh, derives all the keys uh, needed for cipher protection and integrity protection. And we will see, we have a dedicated section in this course on security, and we will see how those keys are derived. Uh, in many ways, it is similar to MME in 4G, uh, the mobility management entity, but there are uh, quite um, uh, stark differences here as well. Uh, but if you want to correlate uh, 4G and 5G, you can think of AMF in terms of uh, similar functionality compared to the MME. It also interfaces with the MME in 4G for uh, context transfer when interworking with EPC is deployed. So there, there will be scenarios since 5G is 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 very new uh, and is being deployed. There are uh, scenarios where 4G and 5G will coexist, and this subscriber will move between 5G and 4G. So uh, imagine uh, you will have, let me clear this a little bit. Um, and imagine there is, this is your 5G uh, network here, and then you have a 4G network here. And this UE, uh, when it comes into a 4G coverage area, it's going to connect to something which is 
which we are familiar which would be LTE right and this LTE in the back end uh, is connected to your MME right and a bunch of uh, other stuff I'm not gonna explain that uh, just keep it simple I guess uh, we'll we just call it EPC, right? Even though EPC includes MME, but just think of it like S gateway, P gateway, PCRF, all the uh, good stuff. Uh, now this user, when it comes to 4G, uh, there will be handovers here. So there will be a handover here between NR and LTE. Now, in order to provide a good user experience uh, for this subscriber as it comes uh, into a 4G, the AMF, and the MME can actually interact with each other to f get all the context uh, that this user had in AMF uh, when it was in 5G. And we can transfer that context uh, to the MME so that the MME does not have to do all those steps again. It just speeds up the process of uh, providing service to this subscriber. And this interface is called N26 interface. And it is uh, in many ways similar uh, to the inter-MME um, uh, interface that you may be familiar with. Uh, but we will look again, we, this will be covered in a lot more detail when we go into the section of inter-working with EPC. Um, but uh, just keep in mind that the AMF can interact with the MME for fetching all the context of uh, users as users move between 5G and 4G. Uh, uh, and, and vice versa. So if this subscriber moves back into 5G, um, you know, the AMF can fetch the context from the MME using similar process. So uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, AMF at a high level. We will go into more details in the uh, next uh, section.